energy, energy, energy. Welcome to Unlimited Runtime Episode 2. That's right, it's the sequel. I'm your host, John Smith, and yes, I assure you, that still remains to be my name. And with me today, my lovely co-hosts, Eleanor. That's me, I'm Eleanor. Wow, every time. Energy. Started with the, whatever. Nathan. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nathan Fry. Thank, thank you, John. Th- hey, thank you, Nathan. Thank you. A little bit of, like, uh, NPR energy there, but here for it this morning. And the internet's very own Jared Petty. What's wrong with NPR energy? Nothing's wrong with NPR energy. Listen, Shvetty Balls is the funniest thing SNL oh maybe ever did. And, uh-huh. uh, you know, I, I just, I think NPR energy is good stuff. NPR I, energy is, is Not is once did I say NPR energy was bad. Big Look, fan of Carl I, Castle, National Public Radio, that that whole vibe. Yeah. I'm going to bring energy to this me. podcast whether you like it or not. Yeah. That's all and, I'm saying. And by the way, John, that introduction I did was a uh-huh. reference. Was it? Because of our topic today. Wait, I'm Daisy. Wait. I'm Eleanor. Oh, okay. That oh, is, yeah. you can't. No Someone's one's going saying to get that. I'm someone. You can't say that's a reference. I'm Daisy. That's a reference. No, it's that's just saying who you are. You can't. Oh, whatever. How's it's everyone doing? How are people? Meme. How are people today? Somebody I, said I'm Mario. I, oh, go ahead, Nathan. I'm just. I'm, I'm getting through it. I, I'm trying to navigate whatever that was and get over to the other side. But you know, there's a sequel out right now. It's it's very popular. It's a Sony exclusive, right? It's a superhero game. You're flying around with a care in the world, and I'm back to playing it. It's a really good time. It's Gravity Rush 2. Oh, there you go. There you go. I was really trying to figure out, okay, I know you're not talking about Spider-Man. So, yeah, Gravity Rush 2. Uh, rip that studio. Um, uh, yeah, rip <laughs> Japan Studio. I mean, it's it just, yeah, no, absolutely. I get slightly depressed every time I boot up that game, but it rocks. I love it. It's, it's a good cat. Great cat, even. Yeah. Good cat. Yeah. Raven yeah. 2. I do miss Japan Studio. Yeah. Mm. Good times. Hmm. Well, thanks for starting us off with a bit of a sadness here. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, are you still committing uh, zoo crimes? No, I'm over my zoo crimes. Okay. I'm all in on Mario Wonder. Okay. That's fair. I mean, if you're doing anything terrible with Elephant Mario, does that constitute zoo crimes? I mean, I don't know if we should talk about the things that you can and cannot do with Elephant Mario. I, that's that's a little too, like, there's this part in the middle. If you ever read The Last Picture Show by Larry McMurtry, like, you have this wonderful, like, novel of, of like, the American small town experience. And then for some reason, there's this part that's all about teenagers going out to fuck a cow. And What it's the just, hell, yeah, Jared? It's just there, and then they go away from the back. So when you say things like, what can you do with Elephant Mario? I'm like, you know... Let's just not last picture show. I am that. not Let's doing anything. I am playing this game like I am seven years old and happy. Yeah, that's Good. the way to do it. So that's exactly the right way to do it. Nothing fucking weird is going on in yeah. my brain with it. I am just enjoying myself. John just won't let us have fun. That's that is, I'm not the one. Mm. <laughs> You're the one that brought up doing weird things to Elephant no, Mario. No, I literally was asking. I was trying to make a joke. Because she was committing elephant and like animal crimes. Don't create the opening. Uh, it was axolotl crimes. It was. It was axolotl, axolotl crime. crime. It oh, was an I'm axolotl so... puppy mill. Let's get it right. Did you have elephants at your zoo? No, not yet. I hadn't gotten to the Africa exhibits yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, never mind. I take it well, back then. I'm so sorry. That's my bad. I obviously was in the wrong. Thank Anyways, you. It Mario, takes Mario it takes a lot of gumption to admit that you're wrong. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Took a lot for me. Those there. are big feelings. Thank Those you. are big feelings. I'm struggling a lot right now. <gasps> <laughs> so Mario Wonder good? Mario Wonder very good. Very good. Mario Wonder gives me the same feelings that I had when I was a grade schooler playing Super Mario World with my friends. Aww. Good stuff. Because now I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing a little bit by myself, but I'm also mostly playing with my partner, and uh, it's it's more fun with your partner. Because you get to fight each other. <laughs> the classic experience. I mean, like, okay, I've it's played... It's a co-op game, but you know I, what I mean by fight each other. So, like, oh, yeah. I played, like, the first two worlds co-op, and I found it not nearly as antagonistic as the new Super Mario Brothers games. Well, but yeah, you those, have the same amount of tested. interactivity. You yeah. can't, oh, yeah. like, pick somebody yeah, up no, and exactly. throw them off a cliff aggressively. Exactly. I, I, I as you should. Like, I feel like this is a safer relationship it is safer (laughs) but not entirely safe there's still plenty of ways to screw over your partner that's a good point though john mario games have this spectrum of like how safe is it to play around your friends and family how angry will you make them which obviously ends with mario party mario kart is like Mm -hmm. almost Mm -hmm. that middle ground as far as i go 
there's kind of a spectrum here. Yeah, even Mario yeah. 3, like, introduced the ability to screw the other player over this on the true. world map. Like, it's that true. was a oh, right. yeah. very early development Playing Mario. the original like, Mario, Mario Brothers, Brothers yeah, inside of... a mini-game. I mean, yeah. it's a game inside of a game, and frankly, a wonderful, wonderful little gift they gave us in that one. So we've been doing this about as long as there's been Mario. This is so true. is it part of his core identity? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Just, well, everyone knows that so, so, Mario I hates mean, Luigi, but... Yeah, well, I mean, that's the dynamic. We all it's, play a, Mario it's, it's two brothers, like... I don't have a brother. I do. Watch this. Hey, Josh, if you see this, I hate you. There we go. Natural. Just comes down. I didn't even yeah. like know what I was going to say, but I knew I was going to probably say something negative. It's ingrained. Right. Like, but your that's... facial hair is lacking. See? Yeah. It just comes out. But that's like you the thing. You would only assume that's... that Mario and Luigi have a similar relationship. Yeah, dynamic. that's the thing about brothers. You love each other, but you also hate each other. It's true. Yeah. He lives in Colorado, which is stupid. Colorado. To all of our fans in Colorado, nice. you're fine. This is I, me. I'm sorry. This is me just venting a lot of familial uh, trauma right now. Don't worry I, about it. I wish I lived in Colorado. Really? Nathan, are you actually playing? Oh, go ahead. I did enjoy Colorado. Oh, he's actually playing Gravity Rush. I Absolutely, I'm I playing Gravity Rush too. I adore that game. They well, put, it's a great game. They put the first soundtrack on Spotify. Second one, unfortunately, still Japan exclusive on Spotify. But oh, yeah. man, just well, the mixes are better. But I digress. <laughs> um, no, there, there, there are a lot of familiar tracks from one that come back in two, and two is just a really fun game to me. It's one of those turn your brain off, go fly around, find stuff. Uh, just for, really for cool. Those of you that aren't aware, you, you may not have met Nathan yet, but one of the things I've learned in the few months of working with Nathan, mm -hmm. meet Captain Soundtrack. Um, yeah. If anybody alive knows more about video game sports soundtracks <laughs> over the last 30 years and every specific variant across regions, I've never met them. You are a treasure trove. Of, of of soundtrack minutia trivia. It's beautiful. I try. I definitely want you on my trivia tower team someday. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just that academic team stuff come back, you know? Yeah. Well, you got questions about soundtracks on the academic team? Oh, oh yeah, no, I told my... Sorry, really, <laughs> actually, no, I have a story for this. I One time I told my teammates, I said, look, one day Sonic 3 and Michael Jackson are going to come up. It will happen one time and only once, but it will happen. The next game we played the week after, second question, this composer worked on Sonic 3. It was Michael Jackson. There you and go. And I got it within like three words. Everyone freaked out and looked at me like I was insane. It was awesome. That's well done, sir. Well Do done. you know who composed the Spyro soundtracks? Spyro soundtracks. Man, we our producer is, is very animated about this. Unfortunately, I have not played Spyro. I do not know. Uh, I'm getting a note from uh, producer Jesse. Uh, who, who is it again? The drummer of the police. That's Wait, really? Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Real, my dad's going to kill me. Yeah. yeah. No, is it's that, great. That's why it's so good. Is that the same guy that composed the droids theme for Star Wars droids? I'm sorry. Uh, Nobody knows that. It was one that. of the police. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah. It was one of the police. Yeah, but it wasn't Sting. It's the narc. No, it's, I didn't There's know only this. three of them, so there was a 50-50 oh, chance. 50-50 chance, yeah. No, I see. I feel like I got set up there, but no, I, I didn't I didn't play many PS1 <laughs> games, so it's more stuff that I have played. That's because you weren't um, alive. Well, you know, it was going to come out at some point. So Fun you fact, <laughs> go go listen to the Star Wars Droids soundtrack right now if you've never heard it. Holy hey, shit. Guys, that what fun, a great opening song. Fun fact, go listen to the Spyro soundtrack. Because yeah. it's the only thing good to come out of the Spyro games. Oh! Wow. Shit! Anyways, Jared, how you doing? What have you been playing? You threw down the okay. fucking gauntlet. Spyro 1, 2, and 3, motherfucker. That's what I've been playing. I don't want to no. talk to you anymore. No one ever does. Anyways, yeah. we have a podcast. No, I, have to. I... So this, you know, hey, big surprise. Um, I did lay Zelda aside. The Whoa. Only, the only game I play. Um... To uh, to play Mario Wonder, yeah. uh, just like um, everybody else here. And uh, question for you: <clears throat> Mario Wonder, good? Mario Wonder, superb. Ooh, yeah. Mario That's Wonder superb. is uh, is Mario Wonder is fan fuck. It's a <laughs> Nintendo fucking Mario game. It's great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's the best one in ages. Um, I I really enjoy it. Some of that's just the character of it, like the brilliance mm -hmm. of using mm -hmm. the using the wonder. Uh, effects to redesign levels on the fly in a way that demonstrates what it's really good at is putting a magnifying glass on Nintendo's creativity. There are levels in Mario Wii and Mario Wii U that are just as creative, but because of that kind of doldrum look, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. Mario Wonder takes those ideas and makes highlighting them the point of every level, mm -hmm. and they make you feel the missing sense of wonder. That you had before. I see what you did there. Yeah, and they are—they're not gimmicks. Uh, It's—it's it's, these are the core level designs. Mm -hmm. um, they surprise and delight, as we used to and, say and Jared, in marketing. Allow me, yes. 
correct. But uh, l- allow me to cut in real quick. What do we think about the talking flower? Oh, um, I think the talking flower can fuck right off. <laughs> okay. I fucking love so, that so talking to, flower. To, uh, oh, fight, there we fight, go. Fight. No, 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 no. Okay, two things. Two things. First off, there is an option to turn off the talking flower. You can turn off the talking flower. But is that the intent of the developer? Who cares? <laughs> do, do you want to know who I want to get rid of? Prince Florian. What that, do you got against Prince Florian? Excuse sir, me. Sir, that do might you be like fair. badges? Hey. I have do you, heard this. Do you know? Do you He's know that he, huge. I, I love, hey, I, I love happen, badges. I happen you, to love you, badges, hey, too. Hey, hey, do you want to try this new badge? Badges what are great. What about this new badge? Shut up. No. I'm keeping the one that gives me the extra blocks because obviously that's the most the most pragmatic choice. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you got the sensor yet. I haven't got the sensor yet. So are, are you uh, the type of person, though, who you, you find the one thing you like, that's your play style, you have no reason to switch? Unless the game forces me to, yeah. That's, right, that's, 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 that, that's a mechanical thing. Oh, that's interesting. That's yeah. a mechanical thing. Where it's like, I like a game that pushes back, right? I like a game that's like, hey, you can't do that. And so, like, there are times in Mario Wonder. Hey, guys, spoilers. I also am playing Mario Wonder. Mario Wonder, good. Well, Mario Wonder may be superb. Um, but no, like, there are times where the levels are like, hey, you don't want the flutter jump. It's a timing-based thing. It's going to it's going to throw you off. Don't use that one. I'm like, okay, I guess I can't use the flutter jump. I'm going to use something else. I like it when the game pushes back. If the game says, mm, you do you, be like, cool, I'm going to do the thing that I am like aces at, why would I ever do anything different? That's now, right. when you say you like when the game pushes back, push does that mean you like guys with shields in games? Uh, literally, yes. Oh, what is wrong with you? Because the game, f- okay, sidebar, I'm also playing Spider-Man 2. <gasps> <laughs> I know, I'm juggling multiple titles like a fool. Um, I will do this, I will do my combo strings and be like, ha, and then it's like shield guy and I'm like oh no I don't like shield guys in I Spider-Man. have to change up my combo string and then I'm like oh no we've introduced a big dude I'm like oh, I gotta do something <laughs> a little different oh we've introduced a flying mechanical bird man and I'm like oh, I gotta do something different now and then I get to have a nice interactive experience where I'm like changing on the fly feeling like I am making intuitive combat decisions that's fun times. I, I'm not going to lie. My playthrough of Spider-Man, the first one, it, it devolved into I'm just going to hit triangle to zip to anyone and punch them in the face and do it enough time so I can hit triangle and circle together. I'm I mean, okay with that. But no, it's very fun. It is turn your brain <laughs> off fun. I love it. Counterpoint. <laughs> yeah. Counterpoint. You jump, yank them up into the air, hmm? right? Uh, hold triangle. And then you hold square to do your swing kick and kick them off a building. That's good stuff, too. And you just rapidly solve the issue right there. Now, to awesome be clear... Game to kids watching, Spider-Man's not killing these people. When you kick them off a building, he immediately shoots a web that sticks them to the side of the building. It is like very now, last second. You now, may miss yeah, it. Yeah, they, they do. How uh, do they get down from that webbed building? That's not Spider-Man's problem. That's a problem for the cops. Okay, so I've read enough comics. Spider-Man yeah. fucking kills people. Like, that's... I'm sorry, have you... Obviously, you've not played Marvel's Spider-Man yeah, 2. Okay, Be so like, greater together. <laughs> Peter Parker, like, is is not a, a sociopath. He does not want to kill people. He does not like to kill oh. people. But Peter Parker will kill you. I mean, this is a problem with superhero games in general. I like the Arkham games. Uh, I think, like, some of them are very great, and I think some of them are fine. But they're like, Batman doesn't kill. Yeah, and I'm no, like, whatever. Those like, guys are dead. I, Batman I, breaks ribs. When I countered a man swinging a pipe at me, I hit it in his spine. That yeah. man is paralyzed. Yeah. He might not be dead, but his life has changed. Yeah. I was uh, I was watching Hunter. Hunter's playing through Spider-Man 1. Hunter, my partner. I'm sorry, you mean Marvel's Spider-Man? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Spider-Man. Fuck off, John. <laughs> John, I've already had it with you between the Prince Florian and the Spyro talk. <laughs> you know who you, Prince Florian would fit in a Spyro game? But, but like huh. uh, back to my point. Your point. Watching. Her I game. watched my boyfriend mm-hmm. play Spider Man, pull a, a manhole lid off mm-hmm. of the ground, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. swing it around to get mm-hmm. extra momentum, and mm-hmm. throw it at a person and hit him right in the stomach. Yeah. That person is dead. Yeah. I, no, that yeah. one, that, they have kidney damage at most. That no, person, no, dead. they have ruptured I, their aorta. Have, have you been to New York City? I have, have been, been to New Ma- York City. Have you picked up one of their manhole covers? You don't know how heavy they are. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> Listen, I've seen the Ninja Turtles have difficulty lifting. Listen, them, I'm just strong. saying, yeah. uh, the, the great philosopher uh, Hume Unless you do it on your own, unless you do it Look, yourself, spi- you don't know what is true. Marvel Spider Man may not, not be, be killing today. people. Marvel Spider Man may not be killing people, but he is seriously causing permanent internal yes. bodily harm. That's to them. Every, oh, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. He's every superhero people. game, it, it, bare minimum, you're paralyzing people, if not giving them like immense levels of trauma to the point that they need therapy for the rest of their life. Like if they're, yeah. oh, they're go gonna have to drink through a straw. Like they're gonna yeah. have to eat through a straw. Like it's it's. Jeez. 
It's these, just, some of these it's people are dead. Actually. It's not that hard to kill one of us meat bags. I mean, we're we're just like mostly like water and tissue well, anyway. I mean, are we expected to think like you know the Spider-Man movies? They're like, oh, he doesn't know his strength. He's gonna bend this mm-hmm. iron bar like accidentally in gym class. Yeah. And it's like, oh no! If he punches someone, though, it's under control. Well, that's the old like the the this the, one of the great like animated Superman moments, right? I live in a world of cardboard. Yeah, uh, you know that's right. You know, I was it's same, like, I was that's, yeah, that and it's just like I literally have to be mindful every second yeah. of my life so I don't kill one of you. Right. Like, and uh, there's a great uh, issue of Uncanny X Men from the uh, early '90s where Polaris loses her magnetism and gets super strong. And there's a whole bunch of couple issues where it's hilarious. She keeps crushing everything because she's like, my, my strength is too much. Well, I mean, I, I'm not huge on the boys. A lot of people like it. It's a little too, little too cynical for me. Um, Fair. but the boys does depict in a more realistic manner what would happen if human beings had incredible powers they couldn't entirely control. I mean, how many times have they just accidentally murdered someone beyond their, you yeah. know, nihilism and, and, and mm-hmm. other, uh, yeah, I was gonna say the other point is just that people suck, but you know. there's that too. I want to go back for a second to, to a very important moment in game design. Okay. Um, I want to go back to games. Yeah. Period. I, wanna go back to games, period. I don't want to talk about comics anymore. And that's about, sure. So I can, I can keep going. No, that's about, we don't need sh- to do that. I'm going to go back to shield guys. Okay. Shield and guys. about how, if I ever make a combat oriented video game, yeah. you will eventually encounter a shield guy and then you will just punch him and he'll die. They and there will never be another they, shield guy they already, again. They did that. They did that. Why'd they do that? In, in the new Star Wars uh, Jedi uh, Survivor. Oh, they did do that. Shit. That's I did not, not my notice. idea. That's not your idea? No. <laughs> never mind. That did happen. Well, no, no. Great designer steal, right? Isn't that how it works? That's it. Yeah. There's no there original idea Thieving. left. Well, how about this? Fair I enough. had that idea a long time ago, and then it was also in that game. Yep. So there. But, Respawn. Uh, Get out of Jerry. It's not all that great. Well, that, I think a hey. lot of people are irritated by Shield guys. That's probably where it came from. I mean, right? like yeah. here's the thing. Shield guys are the I, worst. I, I, there are no, like, there are worse. They're like there bats and birds. They're mm-hmm. like they're way up there. Medusa heads, bats, birds, flea men, Shield guys. Okay, it sounds it sounds like Castlevania. Did, did Castlevania trauma? Have you ever played that? Castlevania? Four of the five worst <laughs> enemies in video games are in Castlevania. Yeah. It's the hardest fucking game in the world. He's right. <laughs> Also, a lot of these are Ninja Gaiden, too. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Oh guess they are. Another of the hardest games in the world. <laughs> Basically, if you're over the age of, like, 32 to 34, you're probably traumatized by some NES enemies. Feel free to email us with what enemies have completely scarred you for life, like Jared. And, John, where can they email you at? Oh, no, we're not going to get to that yet. Hmm. Well, we it's not, tried. It's not the right segment. I'm um, trying to talk for a plug, enemy. John. Work with me here. No. All right. So, yeah, Mario Wonder, good. I'm enjoying Mario Wonder. Well, like good. I, I like it. It, good. it is it, it is Nintendo stunting on other 2D level designers because they just do a thing and then they throw it away and it's just like that was sick, right? We got something else for you. Yeah. It's like that's super cool. I mean, these things could be their own games. It reminds me of Mario Three very much in it's, that every mm-hmm. level has it, a, has a very distinct thing you do and then you may never go back so, to it again. Jared, you and I were talking about this off mic. I hadn't really been sucked in by the game just yet. Yeah. Um, last time we talked. I played a whole nother world, world yeah. and a half last night, um, like in prep for this, just to be like, hey, like, what you, would you just... say you played a whole new world? Anyways, a new magic point of view. <sighs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, I I was in the I'm in the clouds. Actually, I was in the cloud world. Um, <laughs> it's too early for this shit. <laughs> Disney, if you're watching. Um, oh, they're watching. Always, always uh, watching. <laughs> but no, like I, I realized that this game is, in my perception, in my heart, this is the sequel to Mario 3 mm-hmm. that I, I've been waiting for. Where I'm like, this game feels like it is taking a lot of those ideas, a lot of those concepts, and just running with them. Mm-hmm. Mario 3 was a game where really, if you think about it, most of the levels, minus the airship, which, you yeah. know, your mileage may vary on them, right? All unique ideas throughout that game, doing different things, right? And Wonder just feels like the successor to that game that I was just like, oh, like as I was playing it, I was like, oh, this is just Mario 3. Yeah, the analogy I, I keep mm-hmm. keep using in my head is kind of like when you get to the desert level in Mario 3, where I think it's most overt. Like, you're in a desert, and they're all desert-themed, but none of them are like, you're like, oh, now I'm in a quicksand level. Mm-hmm. Now I'm in a big climb the pyramid level. Now I'm in a tomb. Now I'm fighting the sun and a pair of tornadoes. Now I'm like, the blocks, the, yeah. things have, the blocks are jumping at me. Oh, right, like, yeah. yeah. There's, and they're all that. just these really unique... 
And now I do think there are important differences from from Mario Three as well. Um, it doesn't have a timer for one thing, and that's a very mm -hmm. important part of Mario Three. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it doesn't have the verticality that Mario 3 has because they've chosen to mm -hmm. make it a multiplayer game. And Mario 3's multiplayer was confined to the world map. If you're going to have two people or more running around, you can't really have vertical flight, uh, which is a mm -hmm. big feature of Mario 3 that's missing. So what they've done is make the levels a little more Mario World-esque mm -hmm. in their mm -hmm. layout. For sure. And I think that really has, has helped. And so it's mm -hmm. a kind of a weird hybrid. It also There's also a healthy dash of Yoshi's Island in there. Mm -hmm. Um <clears throat> I'm sorry. You're going to be all right? <laughs> I'm good. It's just Yoshi's Island. Okay. Are you not a Yoshi's Island guy? We'll get to that. This is actually a good segue to get to that, if you don't mind, Jared. All right. <laughs> Jeez. Mario Wonder good. Mario Wonder good. But I think what Jared was about to start getting at was we were just discussing Mario. You know, capital yeah. M, quotation marks, Mario, which will – and I, I – was mildly insulted by Yoshi's Island being considered a Mario game, oh, which here leads us oh, here directly go. into <laughs> here you know, we hey, go. like what, what, what Mario? Mario game good? Which Mario game good? And we've brought in uh, for our next segment, uh, producer Jesse. Some may say an expert in the field. Some might say someone with some strong opinions about certain Mario titles. So let's take a quick break and get Jesse situated here, and we will get back to talking more about. The Mario. See you in a second. Welcome back. You may wonder why I'm so perturbed. Don't worry about it. Things happened in the break. Jared and I are fine. We anyway, are fine. We're Definitely. fine. You spiral John and I, motherfucker. Yeah, we're not fine. Cool. Anyways, you know who is fine? You know who's fine with me? Hi, Jesse. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm, I'm really good today. Jesse, who who the fuck are you? Who um, are you? I work at uh, Limited Run Games. You Maybe you've heard of them. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Me too. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Me I've too. seen you around. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen you at the meetings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. around. Cool. Yeah. Where, I kind of hide in the shadows, What though. do you do there? I am uh, an arter. An arter? Yeah. Like an artery? Like no, like an arter. Through? Like someone who does art. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not an artiste. What's the difference between an arter and an artiste? An artist is like the more professional term okay. to, oh. to call so, it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, do we only have just to be and not to listen? I know a lot of people on the art team. Um, would you? Would you? Are you? Would you say they're all artists, or would you say you were the artist and the rest of them might? Some be of us are more artists than others. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to name names directly? Rank, the, rank the team. Let's I'm hear. not the top artist. I will okay. say that. Okay. Who is the top artist? I'm actually assistant to the assistant artist. Okay. Okay. So who mm -hmm. is the who's who's the prime artist? <laughs> Can I say? Sure. Just look, just yeah, look right in the camera. Say, look our, the camera. Our, our art lord, Shaddy. 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 Yeah. Is he the greatest arter among you? Or is he just in charge? Probably both. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Because he he's he's a multifaceted arter. You know? <laughs> he does he does physical art and digital art. Okay. All so right. Jesse, you you're on our art team. Yeah. You're a man of taste, obviously. Well, um, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you're here. You know? Oh yeah. Talk about Mario. Yes. You care deeply about Mario. I, I, I it was my <laughs> first video game sure. that I ever played. Oh, wow. So which, I think that I'm Mario World. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know a lot about Mario. Okay. I'm definitely not qualified to talk about it, but I'm going to do that today, actually. That's what podcasting yeah. is all about. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I do think you think any of us you're... are qualified for this shit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 All right, let's just do a quick, quick rundown. You started with Mario World. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleanor, what was your first Mario game? It was also Mario World. Okay. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Danky Kang. I mean, okay, sure, I guess. Donkey Kong. What do you mean, I guess? Okay, oh, so no, look. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay it look. counts. Watch it, counts. it counts. It counts. Oh, yeah, it counts. It counts. I, I did not think about counting Donkey Kong. Okay. I guess I could also say Donkey Kong, but, like, Mario in my head starts with... Super Mario Brothers. So, so I, John, you and I are about the same age. It's but true. I, I think I can't speak for you. I've played every Mario game. Yeah. Um, and yes. But Donkey Kong is still very important to me, and the reason I, I, I put it, when I was four years old, like Donkey Kong had already been out a couple of years, and one of my very earliest memories is my babysitter rolling footballs at me 
and me jumping over them going, do-do-do-do-do, <laughs> and then picking up my toy hammer and beating on the football and going, do 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 That's one of the earliest memories of my life. adorable. Yeah, that's one of the most wholesome things I've ever heard. pretty fucking cute. Yeah, so I was pretending to be Mario. You know, and he was sure, jump is... man, and then he became Mario a little. Around that time is when he became Mario. So, so I may have known his name by then. Honestly, every day when I find something else more about you, I'm like, yeah, that honestly tracks. Yeah. <laughs> makes I, sense. Oh, I get super sentimental about Mario. I, I made a little kind of like not very well put together video essay a few years ago about how Mario can help save my life. Once We're going to link it. Lost my mind. Um, I ended up in a mental hospital and. Mario kind of helped get me out. So I have a lot of love for Mario. Yeah. No, Mario, Mario broke you out of a mental institution. Yes, he did. <laughs> what he did was allowed me, I had kind of shut down. And, and uh, the realization that Mario was always with me, um, as weird as that sounds, which kind of sounds like talking about Jesus or something. But, um, so but, when you see one set of footprints and then that, there's that, a gap, that, that's, that's, that's Mario, Mario carrying you and carrying then jumping. Me. Yeah, and jumping, <laughs> yeah. exactly. No. I phrase that very poorly. Watch the video essay. And so, I'm talking about myself instead of Mario here, but uh, I really do um, I really do uh, have a lot of love for the character and the games. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think I can speak for everybody in saying before we have any uh, heated discussions, there are no bad Mario games. No. 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 no bad Mario no. games. As we said before the show, the worst Mario game is better than a lot of games. This is true. Yeah. yeah that being said, on the sliding scale of Mario games, mm -hmm. once again, a bad Mario game is not a bad game. Mm -hmm. It's still a fucking like A-plus game. Mm -hmm. But it might be a bad Mario game. So when we say bad Mario game, remember, there's an asterisk there that is just a, our way of saying it's still a great game. The usually. worst Mario platformer is better than the best Sonic platformer. I think that's a fair... It's a low bar, but I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honest to God believe that's true, and I, that's not just... I know like Jesse has feels Warcraft. about Sonic, and I see oh, him thinking play, about it. Sonic Mania is a really good platformer, <laughs> but I don't think it's better than any of the Mario platformers. Jesse, you're our guest here today. Sonic is... is he's just cool. He is very cool. He's, like, he's, he's, he's cool. cool. He's, I think he's definitely cooler than Mario. Oh, yeah. Like, he's yeah. so much cooler than Mario. And I the mean, music like, is funky as yeah, shit. Yeah, it is. Can I yeah. say shit? Yeah, you can yeah, say you shit. Can say okay. Shit. okay. Yeah. The you music's funky. funky. No, oh, you can't say The funky. music's <laughs> slappy as shit. All right. There we go. <laughs> and um, it, But it's not, you know, it doesn't know what it wants to be. Is it a platformer? Is it a running game? Is it a... You know? mm -hmm. Is it an awkward swimming and drowning simulator? Yeah, that's the. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that character, you're right. I mean, he is. And this is going back years ago on old One Up White Retronauts. Um, they had this long discussion about the identity of Mario, and they were pointing out the fact that Mario was, you know, literally created in Donkey Kong mm. by what they could pull off visually with that hardware. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they couldn't create enough detail to give him like hair, and the, so they gave him a mustache because they couldn't figure out how to give him a face, <laughs> and they gave him the hat because they couldn't give him hair. And suddenly you have this character. Yeah. And he was created to be a video game character. Yeah. And he just remained that. Sonic was created to be a marketing tool. Yeah. He's so much cooler. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 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 It's like Mario. Mario reminds me of my dad because my dad also wears a hat and has a mustache. <laughs> awesome. Uh, but Sonic is like my cool older, older brother. And as a kid, you want to be like Sonic. Is it because you're... Older brother has blue hair. No, I don't have an oh. older brother oh. actually. But if I had an older brother, <laughs> I would Sonic. wish he was Something Sonic. Happened to him? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, he was just never created. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, but now that brother. I'm older, I'm more like my dad because so we like all Mario. turn into our fathers, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now I'm more like Mario, and I, I appreciate Mario now more. Here you go. All right, Jesse. Yeah. What's 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 your favorite Mario game? What's my favorite Mario game? What's your favorite Mario game, Jesse? Three D or two D? You know what, gentleman's choice. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do both. That's fine. That's two D Mario World. This is my first one. Okay. I'm kinda biased. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean listen, you never you never you never forget your first. No, you know you yeah, don't. No. <laughs> and three D my is also my first three D Mario. Oh, I'm really nervous for this. I, I know I what's think, coming out of I your mouth. I think I know what's coming. Of course is the thing. I know what's coming. I know how old you are. A little game called Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, Hell yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Before before we get to anything here, because you're going to get picked on, you know, of mm. course. You've had this argument too many times in your mm. life. <laughs> um, but I, real question. Is it your favorite because you think it's the best, or is it your favorite because you love it? Because those are two yes. very different things. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> shit. He got knives. You really yeah. think it's the best <laughs> yeah. Mario game? Oh, 3D. Yeah, for sure. There I are think... parts of me that hurt. Uh, <laughs> I'll guys... expound. Right now? Yeah. All right. Give so... me... Okay. All right. We're, we're trapped in an elevator. Okay. The only way for us to escape the elevator is for us all to agree on what's the best 3D Mario. This is your pitch. It, it's hard to it's hard to talk about why Sunshine is the best without shitting on the other ones a little bit. That's okay. Just a little bit. Once again, we've already it's established. Incredible. We've already established no bad Mario game. I, I took a lot of notes last night, so I could so I could come here and discuss this. I don't remember any of them, and I don't remember <laughs> the order in which I wanted to bring them up. But but I'm gonna start with my end point, my my point that was going to seal the deal, uh, because I don't remember what the rest were. And that point is that <laughs> Mario Sunshine is not actually a platforming game. Mm. It's actually a third-person shooter with a jetpack. No, I, I, I think you've got, you've got something there. I mean... There's shades of Splatoon all over that game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you're flooding me with, with takes. Oh, flood. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You know, that's yeah. fl- flood. That's a. No, I, I that, think that you've that, got. That's the joke. I mean. mm-hmm. Yeah, thanks mm-hmm. for explaining you the joke. You did that on purpose. Okay, that was, you, that was, mm-hmm. you've got a good point. There's a lot of heavy platforming, but the mechanics of how you engage the enemies and search for the collectibles both are very tied to that. Yeah. You can jump on their heads, you but can. it's easier just but to shoot them with you? water and kick them. Yeah. Because once they flip over, you can just kick them. Right. I, I will say, in defense of Mario Sunshine. I think some of the best 3D Mario platformer sections mm-hmm. are the non-flood bonus stages oh, in see, that game. That's my in my notes. I had mm-hmm. pros, uh, mm-hmm. just a list a mile long of the pros. Sure, sure, game. but you can't remember any. Of I that. had a single con, and it was the floodless levels. <laughs> oh, <Although, laughs> <laughs> so just what is it about the mechanic that you enjoy so much? Why do you think it's a? You describe it as a a. It's a third person Having shooter. Third person yeah. shooter element. The, so I, I'm not going to go as far as to call it a third person shooter yet, but <laughs> I definitely agree that so, a lot of the mechanics are built around that. The traversal in the game is really good. Yeah. Um, they brought in a lot of new mechanics that weren't in 64, like the backwards jump um, while you're running, and the um, and just like the pivot when you're when you're walking. There's just really like mm-hmm. quick and snappy movement in that game, and sometimes it can get a little too quick and snappy, in which case if that happens, you've got flood. You fall off, you bust that jetpack out, and you just get back to where you were at. So it's very forgiving in that sense. So I'm going to make an argument that agrees with your perspective and also has some criticism built in. Okay. Um, I do think you're onto something about the FPS feel. I would argue that one of the reasons it kind of feels like an FPS is that it's intended to be a platformer but it's not entirely baked. Like Paul Hollywood would say that this needed another two minutes in the oven. He absolutely would. Yeah. yeah. He like, said it had great taste, great taste, but it's a little too moist. It's, yeah, I, it's I a love, bit too he moist. Lo- he loves the design. He mm-hmm. says the aesthetic mm-hmm. is there. You're yeah. onto something. Is that your Paul yeah. Hollywood I don't impression? Know, I don't know. Oh, it's, God. Yeah, you sounded like Russell Brand. That was a little too, like, You're like Russell Brand trying to do Paul Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. That was a little too posh. That's on me. I do a real good posh. You know, I also do a real good, like, you know, get down here and do, like, some Vinnie Jones and be like, I'm up. Yeah, that's clo- I feel like that's Thank closer. You. Britain, we're Almost. sorry. No. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I watch a lot of Guy Ritchie movies. <laughs> Separate from Mario. But I, I think that, that Paul would have called that a little underbaked. Mm-hmm. I think that one of the reasons it feels more like an FPS oh. is that they weren't done with it. Um, I've heard the stories. Yeah, you've heard the stories. The levels aren't... They're done... But they're not finished. Everything is there, but none of it's tuned. The collectibles, there's too many of them. They're in really weird places. And it feels more like an exploratory FPS than it does a proper oh, that's a, that's Mario platformer. Precisely because the level design's not done. Jared, yeah. Jared, he pulled out his list. He's got yeah. he's got a fucking report on I'm his excited. Phone. He found his notes that um, he had forgotten. <laughs> I, I I have how many stars and yeah. shine sprites <laughs> and um, yeah. completion for every 3D Mario. Oh, I brought props, by the way. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. No, okay, go ahead. Right. get Just them out. Bring them up. I, right. Get I, them out. You said you had to have the backpack. Yeah, so. I did. Yeah. So here's my first prop. <gasps> Hell yeah. I actually just came back from New York over the weekend. Oh. Uh, where I got a game called Mario Wonder. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. Oh. Yeah, no, Are you enjoying that game? I've heard, um, would you say Mario Wonder good? Uh, Yeah, Mario Wonder great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I wore my Brooklyn shirt because we all know that Mario's from Brooklyn. That's canon now. That's true. That's true. It was canon before if you were into a really good movie from yeah. the 90s. 
Yeah, yeah. That's true. And uh, now it's canon from that really bad movie from last year. We cannot. Oh no. Cannot. I'm not doing that. This is my proof. That I have played these games. No one was doubting you. <laughs> I've played all three of those, actually. I know yeah. that's yeah. That's good. That's those are all yeah. good video games. Yeah. You should play them. Yeah. I've also played that other one, the Odyssey game. Uh, that Mario Odyssey. I don't have any notes on that one. Though. You don't have any notes on that one? <laughs> no, no notes on Odyssey. No, no notes. I, you talk about collectibles. Well, oh, good lord. I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah. That, there's a, there's a lot. Of but that a lot of people like Odyssey. That game's designed to be a collectible. Odyssey's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. the whole structure Odyssey's of the game. Probably a lot of joy. Anyways, are there any more props, or is this it? Oh, I've got a ton more props. Oh, oh no, just, just keep keep just, talking and just keep Okay, all right. We'll, just, well, I also put down, like, what the best and worst levels of all these games were as oh well. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, you know what? Not like a list, just, like, best and worst. Come on, Jesse. Jesse, Jesse, Bring it up. Jesse, lightning round. Just start just start right, going. Right. So the thing about Mario Sunshine, right? You said <laughs> the levels are underbaked. I do think so. Correct. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. However, keep going. you know what the best level is in Mario Sunshine? What's that? Delfino Plaza. And Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It has plenty of shine sprites to get. Yeah. It's got exploration. It's got... Does it have enemies? Defino Plaza? I think a couple. You chase uh, not not uh, not Mario. It has yeah. enemies if you're on Yoshi and you yeah. fall in the water. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's there's some death there. I thought there was something. There's always yeah. death. Not yeah. a lot of death. Um, the worst level is... The Manta Ray race. Well, I already told you earlier. It's mm -hmm. the... It's the it's the floodless levels, no. but the level specifically, that's, you to play that's, Mario. That's they, yeah, that's where you're playing Mario. Specifically, <laughs> it's the pegboard one. If you guys, oh, remember I that. hate that fucking thing. Okay, that actually, fucking yes. one that you that launch on the thing and you bring down the pegboard. Yeah. Oh, it's the plinko. The plinko yeah. level. It doesn't Pachinko. work. Okay. Yeah. 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 That, that's a okay. That's it's a broken. Bad level. That's a bad level. Yeah. It's I, a I, neat I, idea that didn't work. Well, again, not baked. It's roll. Get out. Mario Sunshine is oops all vibes. What's that? It's oops all vibes. Oops, oops all vibes. vibes. Yeah. Yeah. It is very vibey. It's it's all the levels mm -hmm. are thematic to yeah. what the game is about. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of Mario's do that. Like Mario sixty four, bunch of random shit, right? Yeah. Mario Galaxy, that's thematic, but also a bunch of Super random shit. Super thematic. At the same time. I mean, well, each galaxy has a theme. Like I mean, each I galaxy is like, uh... you know, a galaxy, and you're on like a floating planet and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's also like a different, like realm each yeah. time, you know. But I mean, and Mario Odyssey Sunshine, well. you damn well better love beaches. I mean, that's, you know. Oh, and I love a good beach. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I will say, another point in Sunshine's uh, favor, you get to see Mario's arms. Got that short sleeve action going. He has, mm -hmm. he has short sleeves in that game? Yeah. Yeah. I've never noticed that. That should have been in your notes. Wow. Really <sighs> ill-prepared. Anyways, okay. keep going. All right, all right. <laughs> all your arguments uh, are now invalid. Oh, God. Um, Didn't notice Mario He's thinking sleeves. about Mario's oh, arms. Oh. Yes. Oh. Let's before, talk about before, his nipples before, for a minute. Say, no, I have Mario... 95 shine sprites. What's What's that? Hmm? I have 95 shine sprites. You personally? Yes. Good for you. I think there's 120. Yeah, no, you didn't get all of them. 120? Yeah. So yeah. I'm, really I'm working on it. It's hard, all right? <laughs> Wait, you're still working on it after all these years? <laughs> well, I started over again on it. Oh, okay. On the Did you ever collect them all? <laughs> no, I actually never I actually never beat the game growing up because mm -hmm. there's this one level, mm -hmm. the the mana, the Stingray, the, the sting Mana Ray. Oh, yeah. the Stingray, yeah. yeah. I couldn't beat it. That's a bad level. I yeah. couldn't beat it. It stopped me from proceeding, so I just kept replaying the game. I would describe that level as underbaked. <laughs> Maybe overbaked. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know you what? That, yeah, once you get past fine. that Mana Ray, actually, that level is pretty fun. Yeah. You it's, get the hotel, you get yeah. blue. I mean, like, I will say one of the coolest levels in that game, coolest Mario level in general, is the, uh, the Sandbird. Sandbird level. Sandbird's iconic. It, yes. you, mm -hmm. you can. It's not super fun. I feel like because it's kind of hard. I mean, it's like Shadow of the Colossus, but but with Mario. Oh, yeah, it is like that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the Good image. Point. I just imagine Mario like leaping off a cliff and Yoshi falling to his death behind. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Mario Sunshine is closer to a Jack and Daxter than a Mario game. Keep throwing out these analogies. You, keep, you call it a third-person shooter, and I think you've got a lot there. Again, I do see the, some of the Splatoon vibes. It is about traversal. The levels are too big and too weird. Um, yeah, I mean, so far everything you said I think is true, except for it being really good. It's not the most. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not the most polished, but I think it's the best. Yeah, and. Do you have made a you have made a strong argument? What other props do you have? Yeah, no, bring bring out. Okay. Listen, you made the effort to bring a backpack right. of stuff. Where should I start? Galaxy or sixty four? Dude, you just, let's start with sixty four. Yeah, just to, because right, I I was also gonna come and a spoiler. My answer was also Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, oh my God. okay. Well, you've been and so quiet. I think yeah, because he's making the point for me. And my argument was just I like it because Sunshine makes me happy. 
like like a John Ooh. Denver song? Yeah. This is Mario 64, all right? It's a sweet little gummy. This is not Mario 64. This is Best by May 2024. Doesn't mean anything. Dude, this is... <laughs> That's a suggestion, all right? This It says Super Mario on it. Copyright okay? 2022. It's, a, it's, it's supposed to be... A, it, they're gummies, all right? These are gummies. Like you can okay, eat them. and so you these are an me. analogy, I assume? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. give us the power of the okay, analogy. Okay, this is an analogy. I was like, this is not old enough. I was like, I'm going to eat these. No, this is youth pastor shit. Yeah. Like, he's coming yeah. over and he's like, okay. They're nostalgic. Yeah. Uh -huh. They taste great. There's a little bit of healthiness to them, but there's also, like, artificial flavoring and, and probably a lot of sugar in them as well. Okay. There's okay. definitely a lot of sugar in Mario 64. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't tried these. I don't know what it tastes like. This crinkling is going to be terrible on the mic. It but, is going to be horrible. I ate the green one. Uh, apologies to headphone users. Oh, that green one is questionable. Have They're okay. Sex with me. I guess we're reviewing food now. Have sex with me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making the ASMR video. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you bring, Jesse? <laughs> this is going to be problematic and controversial. Uh huh. I think Mario 64 is the worst 3D Mario. Okay, I disagree with you. I'm not even being, like, <laughs> contrarian here. I have so many problems. Oh, and I played this for the first time, really for the first time, mm -hmm. in this collection. Okay. Okay. That was so your first trip through. I feel like it's a semi-unbiased point of view. I don't have nostalgia for the game. Sure. I'm mm -hmm. coming at it clean. Which, and I think that's powerful because there is that... If you were there, there is that incredible, like, why is the cartoon alive, like, thing that was yeah, happening. Yeah, I mean, wasn't and that the first 3D platforming game? It was the first one of any substance. It was, like, it, it came out around like, the yeah. same time as Tomb Raider. That's incredible. Yeah, Tomb Raider, Crash, and, like, Mario all came out loosely around the same time. And Mario was the truly the first 3D camera, like... Right, you played Tomb Raider. It looked cool until you started walking. Um, but Mario was smooth as, as glass for the, for a time. And yeah, anyway, that made an impression that's hard to get out of your head. So you never to had To its that. merit, I mean, that's it, it did a lot of really good things for right. being one of the first. But you think of all of them now, it's the one you'd least like to play. The controls are so frustrating. I get so angry while okay. I'm playing that okay. game. Okay, 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 hold on. You are find the controls... Of Mario 64, frustrating, but sunshine, you feel... You can't jump backwards, like and the camera is all fucky all the time. Okay, um, it I, does have a bad camera. I got another note on here that says, overworld, no exciting. So you know that's true. <laughs> okay. Um, the you castle know, is, I, is confusing. I will speak <laughs> now, because I'm going to defend Super Mario 64 as my favorite. Okay. Because okay. we've already talked to death about sunshine. I oh, do I'm think, over sunshine. I do think sunshine is better, but... Oh. I don't think Super Mario 64 is the worst. I have a very controversial opinion for the worst, and I think you can all... Oh, no. You is can it all, Galaxy yeah, 2? It's, it's Galaxy 1. Whoa! Galaxy 1 has the story that's good and makes I don't like cry. either Galaxy game, but we're not... I'm not talking about that. You just killed me a little inside. I, I am talking... Spyro in this? <laughs> I am talking about Super Mario 64, and it has all those problems, yes, because it's a, a a Nintendo 64 game from the 90s. Yes. yes. But it is also the only 3D Mario game that I consistently go back and play. But is that because all of the way nostalgia? Through. No. It's because I genuinely have fun with it. Because mm. the platforming is challenging enough for me. It's a little too challenging. <laughs> no, it's the perfect amount of challenging. <laughs> I love that. And, and and you just work with the tool set that you have at the time. Mario 64 is the Dark Souls of Mario games. It is Absolutely. kind of the Dark Souls of Mario games. Oh, my games. God. And that's, I think that's why I enjoy it, but I will 100% that game. Also, I disagree with you about the level, the... The home, castle? Uh, the castle. It's I love it, and... I got a new appreciation for it when I went to Universal Hollywood. Oh, all right. Okay. And I got to be in the castle. Ah. And actually, it fucking slaps. <laughs> but do you think that's because of nostalgia? <laughs> no, it was actually really cool. I got to touch okay. the painting, and it went woo 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 woo. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, I yeah wobbles, yeah. I will say, I don't have that's kind of cool. a special affection for Mario 64 compared to other people my age i think i really i was the like game. i was like but six when it came out so yeah it blew like, my it blew my mind like i was amazed by it but i wasn't like it took me a while to get my head around it mm -hmm. so i wasn't in love with it for a while however i can tell you when i got to the first ending of odyssey like when you when you first unlock enough moons to and found that castle 
I was just that was happy cool. as a fucking clam. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was just like, oh my god, I love this so much. Video games are I got, great. I got... Two Mario 64 credit. I got teary eyed. Yeah, when that happened, it's like just the the joy. Like that that is. Hey, that was that was because of nostalgia. Well, and uh-huh. Odyssey is a perfect like. It, that is an homage to 64. It's right. almost like a sequel because you yeah. do start out yeah. on that castle grounds, don't you? No, no, you end up there. That you you, you don't. You, oh. you start in the spooky. It's all black and the ghost hats. And hat stuff. world. Hat world. You know hat world. Oh, sorry. Yeah, is it? Are sorry. you literally I was on thinking about galaxy? Hat? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Not Odyssey, Galaxy. Oh, oh, uh, Galaxy, oh I don't care about Galaxy. Oh my god, <laughs> Galaxy doesn't have. But you do start. You start. So you start I, in the Galaxy, Galaxy, Galaxy One has a story that is good and heartbreaking and sad. Mm-hmm. It and also I, has unfathomably good, unfathomably good level design. Yeah, it's incredible. And Mixed with, and Odyssey? let's talk about this for a second. No, Galaxy. The oh, first. Galaxy. Perfect camera in Mario 3D oh, history. I, it's in my notes. It's in my notes. Yeah, like the Galaxy camera. It's fixes never an issue. So yeah. much yeah. that was wrong with those first two games. Absolutely. Yeah. And give that it alone, that. like you can just concentrate on playing. Galaxy Two takes out all the parts that I liked about Galaxy One and adds in Yoshi, and that's an unfair trade. And that's why Galaxy One is the best. Anything game. with Yoshi in it. It also better. brings back no. 2D. Yes. Yoshi's great. Did we interrupt you, Eleanor? By the way, no, okay, that was okay. all. I mostly, I'm a, I'm a vibe-based Mario person. That's why Super Princess Peach is actually the best Mario oh, game. Damn it. I haven't oh, played that one yet. Despite the, despite the horrible, horrible misogyny of it. But despite that, okay. it's all about vibes, and I'm all about. Well, how vibes. do you think about the? What do you think about the new Peach game? I'm so fucking. Excited. I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I actually, great. I think that game yeah. looks great. That's great. Would anyone like uh, these? I can't eat them for, because you know diabetes. Throw, throw well, you're not them. supposed to eat them actually, oh, because my point them. was that they're kind of it's it's Mars 64 looks kind of bad for you. Yeah, oh. well, yeah. No, these this them. one's these are two fire flowers that are combined like uh, like twins. Oh. Anyways, a couple more notes. Mars 64 terrible, by the way. doesn't Don't have coconuts, these. and it doesn't have Yoshi. It does, but you can't jump on him and ride him and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, Wait, coconuts are a selling point for your Mario games? Yeah. So every Mario game that does not have coconuts is a lesser Mario game. Yeah. Okay. So Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have palm fruit. Does that count? Yeah. Okay. To its credit, Mario 64 has great music. And this is also a plus. Uh, the game is the whole game is kind of a liminal space, if you think about it. It's very weird. It is a little and weird. a little creepy. At the is that an time. ardor term? Liminal space? Yeah. It's like... A little bit. 3 a.m. in an empty mall kind of thing. Yeah. It feels just, like, nasty, but kind of good at the same time. Yeah. I I love saying that about, you know, like, Mario's girlfriend's place. It's like, hey, it's a little nasty, (laughs) but I love being here. (laughs) You live like this, girl? (laughs) And it doesn't have the worst platforming, because it does have better platforming than Kingdom Hearts 1. And that's saying something. I've had things that come out of... That took such a turn. Yeah. <laughs> not expecting... Uh, I almost said something very terrible. Jared, Jared, what what Mario game makes your, your heart feel warm and fuzzy? My heart... There isn't a Mario game that doesn't. Uh, despite my criticism of Sunshine, I find it very enjoyable. Um, I do slightly prefer 64, but I think that's because, just like he pointed out, I'm a little more interested in platforming than I am in... In water traversal and shooting, sure, um, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, but only slightly prefer sixty four to sunshine. Um, I Galaxy and Galaxy two are like probably both top ten video games for me. Um, I love them <laughs> mostly because they just get out of the way and let you play. Do you have another metaphor. Do you know what these are? Uh, uh, these are um, sorry, Jared. This is another. It's all right. Star. Oh no, a it's cosmic a galaxy brownie. A cosmic oh brownie. my yeah. god, I yeah. want a brownie so bad. It's, Jared, give it back. My mother oh my god, fed me one of these every brownie. single day. Angie, we're watching out for him. <laughs> yeah, let me give it to Nathan. Meal? Like Nathan pretty here. much, this is oh, all I ate no. for lunch. We well, were maybe we not. Were, oh no, that's that we were great. quite poor. So, so these are. Explain your analogy. Preach. Mario Galaxy. Okay. It's like a cosmic that brownie. It? That's Scott. it. These are fantastic. It's a, it's yeah. It's, it's fantastic. That's it? This That's is, it. <laughs> you know what? This is actually exactly how I, I like, feel like, about what? Mario Galaxy because, like I said, every day my mother packed one of these in my lunch. And uh, it's cool. 
and you're like, man, I really want chocolate. And then you eat it, and you're like, that wasn't, like, as good as I thought it was going to be. That's because your mom should have packed your fudge rounds. Oh, my gosh. That space theme, watching the platform light up as time passes. Yeah. The stars falling from the sky. It's also, the underrated availability of easily accessible second player interaction, yeah. which hadn't been a part of the game for a while. Yep. But with the Wiimote, like, that was re- it worked really well. And the second player could be extremely helpful, not just on shooting stars, but that stun effect, being able to just hold an enemy in place, mm-hmm. like, that made the game vastly easier it's if you were working first-person shooter. Yeah, there we go. Stop it. No. Um, and then finally, you were asked, though, as much as I love Galaxy, Odyssey dethroned it for me, which I su- would surprise wow. me. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy has much more condensed level design and I didn't think I would like Odyssey as much as I did but (laughs) the ability to take over enemies and go full Kirby Mega Man on the game and build levels around that ability Mm -hmm. and then build levels that were all about exploring and then re-exploring and then re-re-exploring but the place had changed so it wasn't a drag I wasn't going through the same space anymore and then those incredible challenge levels and my favorite video game level is Darker Side. I, I oh, think I, think I was going to ask you. Darker Side, I think, is the best video game level ever made. Wow. Yeah, I, it takes everything from the entire game and, and just squeezes it into, into one level and says, hey, how much did you learn? Yeah, right. Um, it's it's practically every mechanic in the game crammed into one gauntlet. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. And I love it. Plus, it freaking ends with you climbing a building after the whole theme of mario odyssey which is by the way mario you've been here we love you it's been 30 years new donk city that i did uh you finish darker side and the very last thing you do is do- knock donkey kong off a skyscraper That's and so it's funny, like yeah. and then it, the game thanks you yeah like in that little yeah. Yeah. thank you for murdering one you of know, our worst. It's a, it's a vicious, so it's sorry, a I, I, I literally getting shivers thinking about the end no of the it was it was very good i think it's interesting because like Odyssey, 64, like Mario 3. There's a lot of these games that like I get a lot of nostalgia for. Mm-hmm. But, like I get warm and fuzzies when I play them, specifically because like Mario Brothers was like my first one that I played. But the first one that I like played, right? It was just like and I got into was like Mario 3, right? And so that one holds very close for me, right? Like 64, I got, and I remember being like, wow, this is like so cool. It's so mm-hmm. different, right? We, like I said, seeing 3D at home, effectively, yeah. right, was just, like, mind-blowing. Um, the one that I go back to now, and I, it's interesting because no one's brought in, brought this little sub-series up at all. The one that I go back to a bunch nowadays is Mario 3D World. Oh, gosh, I love that game. Mario 3D Oh, yeah. that's not even on my list. Oh, that is a great video game. Have you played it, Jesse? Uh, Jesse yeah, played. I'm not into it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That has some of the best <laughs> level design until Mario Wonder. Some of the best like top tier level design. I agree. Like the stuff they do in that game, wild. It is a game that like works as a solo game. It works incredibly as it's an a incredible co-op, co-op game. game. Like I, I beat the entire game co-op. With I played the 3DS one. Yep. Me was too. that? I played the 3DS one. Yeah, Three Land. Very good. It's also one of the few games where I tell folks you need to play this with 3D because it's mm-hmm. built for mm-hmm. that. Like I hope your eyeballs aren't bad for 3D because like that's that's how you should play that game. <laughs> Sorry, people with bad eyeballs. I also have bad eyeballs, but I can see 3D. I hope you can too. Anyways, um, 3D World is fantastic. It gave us Cat Mario. It gave us Cat Bowser, which like I've never seen Cat Bowser. It's because you never played this fantastic game. Yeah, that's true. They gave us Cat Dennings, Cat Stevens. Did it? I no, know. I was asking. Oh. No, no, he. Oh. No, those, well, I haven't played. It. I didn't know. Those were jokes. Wow. Well, oh, okay. Do you know these All people? Right. Yeah, yeah. Cat Stevens. Yeah. 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 Cat in the cradle. He plays. No, that's not. That's that's Harry Chapin. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Cat, cat this, cat that. Also, not nearly Harry Chapin's best song. Like, I don't know why that's the one everyone knows. Family cat guy. Stevens plays um, Mario Sunshine. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh my God. So no, like Mario 3D World is the one that I I tend to if I'm if I'm needing a Mario fix and there's not a current Mario game. Yeah. That's usually the one I will go back to. Because it is the easiest one to pick up and play. I really liked the Bowser so Fury stuff. Uh, that I they play that. There we go. That I stuff is fantastic. That, that is like, the next Mario game. That's, that's yes. what they're doing. Like, I, that's, I, I, that that the way the way it designs levels and the way it it builds stuff and the way it uses the power ups. I'm just like, make, you know, you know what's this. killing me about that one? Like it's so silly. It's so fucking silly. You fight Cat Bowser. I love <sighs> Bowser's Fury because it's an experiment in creating a true open world Mario game. Yeah. 
and and how a Mario Odyssey style space can work with like Mario Galaxy esque mechanics and mm-hmm. one. And I love all of it, but what I love most about it is that it brings back the chance that my favorite thing about Mario will finally come back. Um, since Mario three and World, Mario has not really flown. It's true. Like yeah. he's flown a little when in Mario Odyssey with certain enemies. He's Galaxy flown a little in Mario Galaxy between, no gravity. <laughs> between he worlds. He flew for real in Super Mario sixty four. Yeah, he flies a little in sixty four with the, but he hasn't taken a three D space, gotten a run, jump, mm-hmm. and t- like raccoon suit his way. And the idea of like going over a giant like Mario world and just using that traversal mm-hmm. to jump from starting point to starting point, I just want to do it. Like, and I want to find out what's up there in the sky, and I hope it happens. I will say one of my favorite things about World was when I finally figured out on my own how to use the cape and yeah. bounce mm-hmm. up and yep. get higher and stuff. That was really I, I, was good I feeling. Fun. I don't yeah. want to, like, backseat the level design because this would be a nightmare for the Nintendo programmers. But if there's one thing that my old man Mario Hart misses, it's just all of the old power-ups. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, oh, like, I'm yeah. like, hey, guys, like... Well, wasn't the raccoon suit in Galaxy? There's a version there's a of first. the raccoon suit. And I don't want okay. the whole Galaxy. Tanuki suit. I want just just the raccoon hat, raccoon tail. Well, I want the Tanuki suit. I want the freaking Boo suit I, from, from yeah. Galaxy. I want the I want the, I want the Hammer Brothers. Turbo shoe. Like, all of this stuff. Frog like, suit. Like, hey, the all, suit. These, all these things. I mean, it, it speaks to Nintendo's ability to keep coming up with new things. You know what you do is you just hire Sakurai away from Smash Brothers and be like, just put suits in Mario, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, there's your new job. And then he dies trying to do it. Like, like here's the thing. I, It's always funny when I come to a new Mario game and I see the new power-ups. So, like, right now, we're all playing Mario Wonder. I don't know what the... I don't know what to do with the bubble suit. <laughs> like, you put things people. in bubbles. Well, yeah, but, like, they're... I, you, go boop. you bubble them. Yeah, so here's the thing. The thing you can do with the bubble suit is you can jump and like bounce off the bubbles yes. too. Yeah. So like as someone who is good at platforming, I, I, mm-hmm. I am I am I think gamer. you're about to mm. say something to the mm. contrary. No. No. I'm just <laughs> saying like I'm looking forward to speedruns of wonder. Where people are using the bubbles. The bubbles yeah, are gonna be like doing some wild yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like but right yeah. now I'm like if given the choice between the bubbles and a fire flower, when they both do the same thing, make enemies disappear. I will kill. I, I will kill. I will, I will use the fire flower. Well, the fire, fire flower has always been a very potent weapon. That's part of what makes yeah. it appealing in Mario. Ever since the mm-hmm. first uh, game, before before we get away from this, I would be remiss. Uh, again, we, there's so many we haven't even talked about. People are probably screaming about other Mario games because there's the main line ones, and mm-hmm. then there's a world of ancillaries like, you know, Paper Mario, the Mario RPG stuff. Those games are Mario incredible. Mario typing. Um, Mario teaches typing is not incredible, um, <laughs> but uh, great typer. Thank you. <laughs> because I'm Mario. For those who haven't played it, it's out there. Donkey Kong '94, man. That's a good one. Like mm-hmm. that is that. Don't let the title turn you off. It is a Mario platformer. Donkey is, Kong '94. Yeah, it's a Game Boy game. Game Boy. <laughs> um, yeah. Donkey Kong '94 is a hundred level Mario puzzle platformer. What? The yeah. first four levels are just Donkey Kong. <laughs> And you're like, okay, so you just play the four levels from Donkey Kong. And you're like, well, this is fun. And then there are 96 Nintendo-crafted puzzle platform levels where Mario has his abilities from Mario 64, but in 2D. He can do the triple jump. He can do, like, it's amazing. So he has, like, Mario maneuverability from 3D, but in 2D. I did not know about this game. I'm going to keep eating This it. is one of the best Mario games. And so I will say, I will say, we can probably keep doing this for hours we certainly could we could talk about Super Paper Mario and how it's underrated oh my god it's so- oh my god that was for Mario Odyssey it's uh oh. it's bagels? bagels think about it no <laughs> what, is, what do you what's mean? the most iconic level in that game Mario Odyssey New Donk City yeah oh god yeah no, well, no I'm Nathan not, I'm is not, literally yelling at the camera. I'm not even following the bagel analogy. It's like, was it like New York City? And it's like, yeah, bagels? They, they eat bagels in New York City. Also, I didn't bring any butter or cream cheese. At, do whatever you want with those. You can, we can throw them at each other after this if you want. <laughs> what do you mean? It's obvious. What do you mean? They're, ba- no, they're bagels. No, I mean, no, listen, bagel. you want to get up here and do this? Come on, All come right. on, take uh, a seat. Just hold on. All right, we have to wrap here. this up. Hey, come Jesse. On. All right. Jesse, what else do you have in the bag? Wash all of this down with some high quality H2O from the best Mario game. 
What, what is what is this supposed to be from? This is Mara Super Sunshine. Mario Sunshine. What is it? What's delicious, check. beautiful. Oh, I'm saying delicious, Mario, beautiful water. Mario Odyssey. Life. New Donk City. Everything they do with that game, New Donk City, right? They, Mario Golf gets New Donk City of all things. No, that's the only thing in the game that anyone mentions. Bagels. I agree. Eat one of those right now, raw. On yeah. camera. Yeah. Do it. Is there anything else? That you I got have? water for you. Anything else I mean, you you have, Vice? Uh, I think. Um, See, you're you're full. I do these at home. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, delicious. Uh, I, there. Okay, one other thing I want to say, uh, because Just I think like you guys Mario all like Mario three, three, right? Mario Mario three. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people think Mario three is the best one. Good game. It's not better. my favorite, <laughs> but I feel like everyone remembers where they were when they first played Mario three. Mm-hmm. At least I do. Mm-hmm. It was a daycare. It was an iconic game. Upstairs, my house. The, yeah, upstairs. Downstairs, my friends. I remember the first time I played uh, the Mario on the Virtual Boy. I don't know what that is. It's a bad game. Oh, it's not great. <laughs> mm. And Jesse, I'm a Virtual Boy apologist. Very red. Jesse, thank you for bringing all of these snacks that we will probably continue eating throughout our, our question uh, segment here. Following this water's up. delicious. But um, hey man, thanks for coming on. It's my pleasure. Dude, you're, you, 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 you were great. Hey, you were great. Thank you. Where can you're we find too. you on the fantastic. internet? You're all great. Hey, hey, if people... You're going to find me? If people... Yeah. No, we're not. We, we know where to find you. Oh. Um, we know where you work. We yeah? We work there, too. Uh, supposedly. If Allegedly. people wanted to find you on the internet, if you want to be found, where, where, where can people find you, and do you want to plug anything while you're here? Those I'm days gonna, are over. I'm going to keep uh, keep nomming on this bagel. Those, you, those days are long gone. You know, I used to... Used to be on the internet a lot. Used to be a poster. Not so much anymore. You go outside now? I go outside. I touch a lot of grass. Brings me life. Drink a lot of water too. Hydrate. Mm-hmm. You know, Mario Sit sunshine. In the hydrates. Sunshine. Yeah, there we go. There this we is go. inspirational, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, I'm on. Very I'm touching. on the internet. Whatever. You can go on Instagram. Whatever. I don't care. You can look <laughs> me up. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you my, where though. My screen name. Do people say screen names too? I think it's a screen name. You can. My screen name is. Uh, you have never sounded more old. It's uh, it's it's Frodo, but it's not spelled F R O D O. It's Fro like Fo, like F A U X. So F R A U X D O. If you want to find me, okay. I don't really post a whole lot. You can find me if you want. But you can DM me if you want. I don't know. <laughs> not I not like that. not like slide into my DMs, but you can be like, get angry at me for Mario Sunshine or something. That's fine. That's sick. Wild yeah. stuff. Awesome. Great times. Yeah. Anything, anything you want to plug? Stuff you're working on that you can talk about? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. There we go. Yeah. Bold just, move. Yeah. He's just going to leave. Mm-hmm. Jesse, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. It thank smells you. like a grocery store in here now. It, it does, yeah, yeah. I've eaten most of these fruit snacks, and <laughs> they've all been terrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're Mario 64 shaped, so that's why they're so bad. <laughs> I want you to know, somewhere, you know what? I'm going to make sure Joe gets his hands on this episode and listens to it. Okay. Because, like, he's going to hear this. He's going to find you. I know. He's already told me. He's he's already... I know. Okay. I'm prepared. I got a bag of bagels to defend myself. It's like a bag of nickels, but, like, a little bit less harmful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. All right. Well, Jesse, thank you so much again. Thank you. Folks, coming up next, we're going to take a small break, and then we'll be answering your questions. Now, I know you're asking, how can they be your questions if this is only episode two? Don't you worry about that. We have our ways. See you in a bit. Yep. Welcome back, everyone. I know for the audio listeners, you've been here the entire time, but we just took a small break, and now we're back here with Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Welcome back. Thank you. I mean, you were here just a moment ago, but you were over there. I, yeah. I can't lie. I feel grossly underprepared after watching Jesse have all of those props and the yeah. list and all the notes. I mean, I take notes, but I don't take notes like that. Oh, Jesse's coming for our jobs. That's very clear. Yeah. Like Jesse, Jesse's aiming for a spot. I'm He's threatened looking for the weakest link. Yeah, I feel threatened. Yeah. I don't. Oh, you don't. Well, wow. Yeah. You have the computer. We <laughs> edit the podcast. I, I do the editing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is no I, one I, wants that job. No. <laughs> right. I've made myself incredibly useful. Excellent. All right. So, welcome to our letters segment. It is podcast at limitedrungames.com. That's right. You can email us at podcast at limitedrungames.com and we might read your letter. What's that address again, John? <clears throat> Podcast at limitedrungames.com. Beautiful. Thank you. Look at I that. try mm-hmm. so hard. Uh, first one up, I normally have my postcards, but I don't have any with me right now. So we'll pretend that 
I just tapped one, okay. and I'm holding it in my hands. Okay. What's that card say, John? The card is, uh, well, here's the thing. I'm just going to put the card out there. Juliet from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a real place, in case you uh, are wondering. People have heard of it. People have heard of it? Yeah. Good. That one they've heard that, of. That's a normal city. Yeah, that's okay. a normal city. Listen, I was just making sure. It's uh, usually from, like, Toad Suck or something. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, uh, she wanted to know uh, the ever-classic game, uh, A Fook, Mary Kill, the long enfant okay. terrible, liquid oh. snake, Are we really doing solid this? snake, and solidus snake. What? Wow! Really? Nothing? It's just, come on. Okay. No, well, I'm gonna go. you're I'm just gonna... like you. I. I. What? That's a lot. This early in the morning. So, yesterday, Nathan was here for this. Okay. Uh, was I here for as, this? As the day of recording this, uh, <laughs> the the. The little teaser for Metal Gear Solid Delta right. came out. Oh yeah, and you're there's right. all those beautiful, high quality pictures of you were a big boss. I don't want to say you were thirst posting, but like you definitely. I were did. Like... I took that. So what I posted on Twitter that that uh-huh. I that I retweeted on X, yeah, on X. Uh, I sent that picture to my boyfriend, and I said, "Hey, look like this." <laughs> I was there. It happened. And he just said, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Okay written out? Did you out, come okay home to Shadow words? Moses? Like, no. Oh, okay. That's no, too bad. No, he did not look like that when I came home. Okay. But, uh, Do you at least have a headband on? That'd be really no. funny. <laughs> Man. But, I mean, remember for the Halloween thing, last sure. year he yeah. came as uh, Snake Plissken from true. Escape from New York. I remember that. He's, the, he's, the he's, all, he's halfway he's, there. Plissken he's, is in MGS2. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But anyways, so Hunter is halfway there. So my point is, fuck your kill out of the enfant terrible. <laughs> big boss is not an option. I know big boss is not an option, but I just bring it up because they're all the same person. That's not true. They're basically one all of them the was same. the president. But the but one who which? was the president was the most clone. So. But here's the thing. Solidus was right, but that's another that's another conversation. Okay. While so, you all, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do, no, I have an answer. I have an answer. I have an answer. Okay. Okay. It is uh. Kill Solidus. Okay. He's too old for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fuck Liquid. Okay. And I'm gonna marry Mary Snake. I'm gonna right. marry Mary he has David. He a lot of baggage, man. I don't care. I can fix him. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. He's Whoa. got he's got dogs. He's a dog lover. Okay. He also lives on an airplane with a random anime fan and a small girl. We're a family. That's what a, that's what a family looks like. <laughs> Is that what? It, is that where you grew up? <laughs> all I, can, I wish that's where I grew up. <laughs> all I can hear is Marge Simpson saying, "Lisa, some women will tell you that you can't fix a man, and those women are quitters." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Good lord. Oh my God. So that is my answer. What's your answer, John? If well, you're uh, if you're so if you kill Solid great... Snake because he wants to die anyways. Okay, that's like, fair. He, he's just like, I'm so tired of this. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't want to live. So cool. We'll just go ahead and fulfill your thing. Obviously, you fuck Liquid because that's going to be crazy. <laughs> and you marry Solace because he was the president. <laughs> Does that give you diplomatic immunity? Yes. And he has super cool just because, arms. Just because somebody's the president, it doesn't mean that they're going to be a good husband. We've had some presidents that were not good husbands. And we've also had a lot of really good ones. What if he's like Abe? Good old oh, Abe Lincoln. Y'all, y'all know Biden fucks. I mean. <laughs> good Lord. <laughs> Biden and I'm Jill. i your ears. <sighs> Joe and Jill. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, um, my God. I'm thinking, uh, thinking about this. I, I guess... Yeah, I'm just going to be contrarian. Um, because his name is Solidus. I, I mean, they're all named Snake, so you know you're going to have a good time. Yeah. Let's see where this but is because going. Because his name no, is ho- Solidus. Let's be real. See my head's bobbing? Let him cook. I'm like, Let yeah, him cook. keep I'm going. I'm just like, yeah. okay, there's there's your fuck. Uh, <laughs> let's let's be real. Just, like, Plus lean arms. over lean over and whisper in my ear. Just like, I just wanted to be like, I know it's not him, but just be like. The Patriots. <laughs> He's like. Nano machines, son. <laughs> like that's what I want. I know that's not the same yeah. character, but I wanted no. to do that. I um, just realized the liquid might yell out "brother" uh, while that, while we're doing it. Yeah, oh, that's where I'm going. So that's <laughs> the thing. Liquid is definitely thinking about about solid. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actively dislike liquid, so I'm killing. Liquid. Okay, I mean, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, am I okay with Liquid's that? Liquid's like not a good person. So no, yeah. he's also just bad at his job. But that's yeah. Once again, that's why you're one and done with him. For someone Jeez. with the superior genes. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm a to, eugenics project. <laughs> I hate to do this, but you know when you're taking a test and it's like A, B, or C, and <laughs> D, D is not enough information to solve the uh, the equation. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at because I have general knowledge of Metal Gear, but not enough to really okay. discern. Okay, okay but really, let's say was, we're at a bar. I was let's hoping. say we are at a bar and you just see these three men. You have to pick. Future they're John. All, future John over here. They're all named Snake, though, so you know you're in for something. Cause, cause, ladies, ladies, to my young ladies out there, if you were at a bar and you meet a guy named Snake, don't, don't go home with him. No. It's gonna be a mistake. Even if he looks like what? Kurt Russell. You could go to the back seat of his car. Oh, there you go. See, I thought Nathan was about to be like. I would marry Johnny Sasaki. I'd be like, yeah, there's a deep pull. Yeah. <laughs> you expect me to have the deep pull on Metal Gear. <laughs> I think everyone should have opinions. I mean, no, I have opinions. My opinions are exclusively tied to Revengeance. I'm very sorry. So Raiden. Raiden. Oh, love Raiden. Raiden's great. Did you marry Raiden? Absolutely. Oh, well, that's a questionable choice. <laughs> All right. Now, Ugh. if you want to talk about a project man, that's that, that, you want to fix him. I mean, literally, you're having to repair liter- his yeah. cybernetics. Yeah, his, this guy's got problems. Yeah, I mean, I'd argue yes, his problems are way Ripper, worse than but snakes. Like, this is a man that spent hours doing cartwheels with his dick out. Like he's going to have issues. <laughs> yeah, I talked to that with my therapist once. Yeah, true story. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, about riding. Yeah, don't worry about it. Anyways, what? I, what? Clint? You can't just drop that no. and stop. I'm sorry. Do you see me uh, tapping my letters here? Uh, Clint <laughs> from Cut and Shoot, Texas. It's a real place. Look you it should up. know he's from Texas. I, I am. I am originally from Texas, yes. Not from Cut and Shoot, though. It was about an hour and a half away. I think? <laughs> no, that's actually longer. Anyway. It's on the west side of that. Cut and Shoot, Texas. It's a real place. Look it up. Clint was wanting to know. This one was specifically like targeted to Jared. Because Uh-oh. he's like the internet's very own Jared Petty. Yeah. Uh, People know him. They don't know us. But they know you. They know you. Yeah. They know all of he you. He gives us they credibility. Don't, nobody knows who I am. Uh, this is a veritable route, Mount Rushmore of entertainment. Okay? <laughs> Looky here. I don't know what you're talking about. People might have known who I was 10 years ago on Tumblr. But yeah. I think we should all forget about that. Those person. people are still around. I think we should just forget about that. The way back just... machine is a thing. Uh, Jared, they, uh, Clint was wanting to know. Oh, don't look fuck. up my Metal Gear fan fiction. Clint, thanks for the letter. Clint, it may be. Clint, Clint, we're getting there. We're getting Clint. Promi- I promise you we're getting there. Jared, if you were to design a game. Oh, no. I know. I know, right? you got to think about this now, right? If you were to design a game starring country music superstar, Dolly Parton, <laughs> what type of game genre would it be? Now, I think we all have valid answers to what genre. I don't think we need to get into, like, mechanical specifics. But, like, what ge- if we were to make a Dolly Parton game. Curiously, curiously, John, I have thought about this before. I, that's weird. What? That's um, really weird and specific. <laughs> and, uh, How I do have an answer for you. I'm going to eat um, this letter while you're answering There's a it. lot of good places you could put Dolly, like a lot of good Dolly yeah. games. But but the what? one I want to have Just more than any one. other is very much of the put XCOM mold. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. Naturally. I love games with two systems that feed into each other. Persona does this mm-hmm. with social links and, and the dungeon. A, you know. a dolly dating game. Right. But 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 I don't want a dolly dating game. I want XCOM okay. where you have the base building segment that makes your squad stronger. Mm-hmm. And the base building is you're building up like Dollywood and Gatlinburg. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. and like the, all the things that she has going on there and the stampede and the rest of mm-hmm. that. And, um, and, uh, Awesome Dolly taking the racist stuff out of the stampede. Well done. Um, and then uh, on the other end, the uh, team combat stages, which is you and an assortment of country music's greatest ethical stars. What? Um, <laughs> like uh, people people like Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, uh, some of the outlaw folks, you know. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, now, sure. now, uh, the music Christopher's are like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's like it's like Johnny Cash's like his special moves, like Ring of Fire. Like what are we talking yeah, about? Exactly. Yeah, like That's exactly. Like an AOE. What we're he's, talking a, he's, about. A, he's a sniper, so his move is walk the line. The line yeah, is the bullet yeah, line. There's yeah, things yeah. like that. He, he, he's a ring of fire. <laughs> things like that. You you have like you have like Chris Christopherson do like a Sunday morning coming down or a beat the devil, you know, and, and things like that. Uh, maybe get uh, maybe get some older. Uh, era folks you know and who are you beating patsy klein you know uh, just incredible voices and talents and you're fighting against the most obnoxious people in the world nazis um no nazis aren't just i mean yes these people are all nazis (laughs) but but, 
Um, How and does this come stars, to mind? I, why wouldn't it? Um, I think because Dolly Parton is is beloved across so many circles in America for her willingness to give away money to good causes give away time to good causes, advocate, and most importantly, unlike almost everyone in the country music industry, admit when she was wrong about something, change her mind immediately and fix it. Sure. Which is not common in country. I mean, the Dixie Chicks made a comment about, you know, hey, sorry we're from Texas when they were in Europe, and they lost their concert tours for the next seven or eight years um, right. just for saying that. And, you know, the Chicks are a great band and deserved much better. Um, Dolly Parton does that kind of thing fairly regularly and somehow gets away with it. And I love her for it. That was a long speech. That's so. good. That's, That's a, big a wholesome speech for a wholesome idea. It's a very yeah. different video game. I, so I have an answer for this. I figured this out. I, 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 I as I was looking at the question, I stood on it mm-hmm. and I figured, okay, do you guys ever play the game Griftlands? No. I have not. No. Okay. Griftlands is a game by Clay. It is a deck building roguelike. Okay. Uh, Sold. Yeah, I know, right? It's, so it's great art, right? Um, and the whole thing is you have a deck for combat and you have a deck for verbal sparring, effectively, right? I don't want to do the combat thing. I'm going to leave the combat to Jared. Let Jared do the, the, the combat dolly game. I want to do a not quite a visual novel, but I, I want the combat to be the verbal sparring uh, from this game, right? Where it's like, hey, you awesome. have your de- you have your deck of okay, cards, right? And it's like, it's like, hey, this record exec wants to like, you know, have you sign a bad contract, and so you play your card that's like, you know, hey, I read this, no, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, hey, your wording is this, I like and you're that. going back and forth, right? And you're basically, it is a, uh, it is a biography of Dolly's career, awesome. and you have multiple endings where, hey, maybe if you, you know, depending on how you play, Dolly's career goes a little bit different, right? Like an autonomy slider or something. <laughs> well, I'm saying, like, you know, the worst thing you can have in a music it's, career is that you no like, longer make your own choices. It feels like this is, like, one of those, like... like what do you mean by it? Well, yeah, because, like, you, you signed yeah. the bad contract, right? Yeah. This is, like, one of those, like, princess raising games, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. It, it, I mean, yes. Um, uh, what is it? What is it? What is this one I played too many hours of? Um, God Save the Queen? That's long like, Live the Queen. Long Live the Queen. Yeah. I love Long Live the Queen. I love Long Live the Queen. Queen. Long Live the Queen's great. We should, what a turn this has made. This Anyways, is amazing. But the point is, what if Long Live the Queen... With, like, this Grifflands, like, card mechanic. Yeah. But Dolly Parton's career. Yeah. So, Long Live the Queen of Country. Long yeah. Th- there we go. You did it. Bam! We're going to delete this part of the podcast. Bam! TM, 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 TM. This is all our ideas. But also, you, we, we didn't Marketing. talk about this, but this entire time, we're playing these games to Dolly Parton music. Oh, well, of course. Well, yes, yeah, absolutely. Right. Of course. amazing. If like, you can't license it, don't make the game. I mean, imagine you have, like, like 9 to 5 playing when you're in a shootout. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, mean I... Okay. Speaking Other- of 9 to 5, my idea... It's just wow. nine to five. The Bus- game business simulator. It's a business simulator. What happens? Are you are you playing the plot of the movie or are you you're, running you're a new loosely, business? You're running a new business. Okay, okay. You're okay. running a new business under the Dolly LLC. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Are you Dolly or? Uh, no, but she's your boss. She's your boss. Oh, okay. okay. She's like your uh, Optimus Prime in XCOM. Okay, yeah. there we go. Commander. All right. Commander. She comes yeah. in. She's like. Hello there. I don't know why I did this because I'm not doing the Optimus Prime voice. Dolly doesn't have a mask. But, Hello. But she's speaking to you over Gotham's an intercom. Reckoning. Yeah, I was gonna say the main version of Dolly Park. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Eleanor, I didn't mean. No, that. that's that's pretty much it. You just I love oh, simulation games, as we all know. I love make nut line go up. So line yeah, go up, line go up, line go up. We're just, gonna break that glass ceiling, gals. Man, you I just, know, I love that. I wanted to know, like, Sorry. like a like an idea stricken struck down from the heavens. My brain was like, okay, LucasArts first person shooter Outlaws <laughs> starring Garth Brooks. God, I love Outlaws. <laughs> oh Star- my gosh, I haven't thought of Outlaws you, in you, years. You sit here and you're like, the moment for the big shootout starts, Thunder Rolls yeah. starts playing. Thunder Rolls. Every time you refill your health, oh, friends man. in low places. Oh. Yeah. See, see, but this is about Dolly. Yeah, but this is about Dolly. Yeah. But also, what if sooner what if or later the dance? Rocks? But then the dance plays, and then you cry. That's great. Yeah, yeah. no, hey, because you're going to rescue your daughter, and the game ends. What? What? With what's your wedding. Dolly game? There okay, we go. Okay. <laughs> Nathan. My, Eleanor said that her game was inspired by line going up, but mine, thanks to something Jared said, line going down. Line going down. And there's something down. that started happening. No, at, line don't go down. <laughs> line go Let up. Let me get there. Let me get there. 
towards the end of the DS's life cycle, something started happening. It was really weird where a lot of third-party developers started making these, like, odd strategy games that didn't really make a lot of sense, and they had these weird, like, 3D models. And anyways, <laughs> oh, long story short, yes, <laughs> no, Fire Emblem was dying at this point, actually, but um, and it got saved on the 3DS. True story. But the whole deal here is, like, no, like, I'm thinking, like, the weird Lego Battles game, like, stuff like that. Yeah. Just weird third-party IP nonsense. I really nonsense. love that game. <laughs> right? Weird IP nonsense. Mm-hmm. Well, if you can have Dolly Parton music, my brain instantly goes to, like, Rock Band on DS with, like, the really compressed sound. And you have, like, the worst midis ever of your favorite songs. And it's a strategy game in the gameplay, like Jared was saying, on the DS touchscreen. But then to raise your money for your army, you go and you do the concerts and stuff. And so it's like a little rhythm game on your touch. So like Elite Beat Dolly? Exactly. He oh. gets it. Oh. He gets it. Okay. It I'm in. Okay, no, no, for the record, Honestly, just Elite he Beat did, Dolly. He did not start with Elite Beat. He was like, oh, yeah, you're just performing like it's a little rock band. And then oh, no, no, it no, became no, Elite Beat. And I was like, oh, no. On the touchscreen. Now, touch now I'm on board. I, I, now lived, on board. I lived in Japan from 2008 to 2011. Oh, and And I would, yeah, oh, and done was just huge right then. And Japanese electronics that are sold to used electronic stores are generally in pristine condition it's amazing how beautiful they are mm-hmm. people they're really the staff fixes them up if they were in bad shape and if not the people turn them in in good shape except every used ds i ever saw in really? japan at that period had swirls <laughs> on the touch screen yep. for where is. people had yep. been playing a wind on and dug in Every damn one I ever saw. Um, it was just universal. It's a craze. Yeah, it was. People loved it. I mean, the Olympian Age. Why it doesn't that exist now? It rocks, dude. I don't know. I love that game. Yeah. Nintendo, if you're listening. Elite Beat. But you Good know what? Stuff. I think of all all these Dolly games have one thing in common. Dolly Parton. Well, they come yeah. with. <laughs> I'd hope so. They come with a coupon for a free picture book. To give to a child in your life. Yeah. Aww. Look at that. They do. That's nice. Because You're such Dolly, a librarian. I love I, you. I, I, yeah. But <laughs> Dolly would never uh, allow her likeness to be used without there being some kind of educational wholesome, quid wholesome, pro quo yeah, going, going on. on. And she would use all that money to mm-hmm. uh, teach teach babies to read. Yeah. I like it. Man. You know what's not wholesome? Tell us. Tell wow, us, John. that was... Like, I, just, I don't know. Tell us, John. This podcast. No, so, hey, guys, yeah. we have to wrap it up. because I have... thought of something. I just couldn't say it out loud. <laughs> yeah, I thought of a lot of things. Um, but no, wow, that was such a lovely, awkward... Sli- that was a pregnant pause. Anyways, Ew, I hate that term. I hate that term? I hate it. It's not great. That was a big pause. Like a big dog. Big pause. Anyways, we have to do real work, I guess, which means we have to wrap up this episode... Nathan, if people were to find you on the internet, where would they find you? If they so choose, they can go to twitter.com slash frydrosity, F-R-Y-D-R-O-C-I-T-Y. Same on Blue Sky. X, X.com. I do not okay. say that, yeah, and you cannot it. make me. Stop it. <laughs> I will stop not. It. Eleanor, where, where, where do you want to be found? Yeah, you can find me. I'm everywhere, pretty much, <laughs> under Eleanor, E-L-E-A-N-R-R-R. Never gets old. R. Arr. Arr. Jared? Uh, I abandoned uh, Twitter about a year ago and um, uh, left my legions of followers behind to wander sadly in the wilderness without my guidance. Uh, but I am Jeez. on uh, Threads, Blue Sky, Instagram uh, as Petty Comma Jared. And uh, also um, in all those places and also on, on Twitter, you can check out Press Run, which is the part of the limited run I work at. We, you know, really need followers we make books please buy them they're very good buy the books yeah not enough people buy them and that makes me sad because they're really good books so you know do me a solid buy a book buy a book for your friend uh what about know. you john me Let's find uh, you. i am on blue sky and co-host at hey it's john uh i post through things there like a lunatic and i keep telling myself i'm gonna do more writing and if I keep looking into a camera and saying it, maybe that means I will. You're going to post through it, John? I'm going to post. I always post through it. <laughs> I, I've, I'm, that's, listen, I'm terminally online. I, Twitter was my dumpster fire oh, until yeah. until it got too bad for me to deal with anymore. I still lurk, but yeah. Anyways. Oh, stop lurking, John. I'm back in the it, fucking I building. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I'm back in the building again. Let it go. <laughs> that is that, that, that meme right. of the skeleton with, with the town crier bell. That just says, oh, Lord, I'm back on my bullshit. That's just me. 
That's just me, no matter what it is or what the topic. Yeah. That's just me. I'm a skeleton in a top hat being like, someone stop me. I don't think I'm going to. But we are going to stop this podcast. <laughs> Thank God. Ha! Yes. We're free. Guys, thank you so much. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, whatever people say at the end of these things. Please go to your podcatcher of choice, and if they have a way to review, please review us there. That does legitimately more good than you would think. And if you give us a five-star review, I might read it on the air. Wow. Please say, I don't know, I mean, ideally nice things, but don't say anything bad. Like, come on. I ain't, I ain't gonna read yeah, that we're list. not even going to pretend that we're being objective about this. We just oh, no. want you to say nice things about us and rate us yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. I like when that's, people say nice things. I know. Yeah. Really, yes. I need validation. Don't, we don't that's want fair. honesty. We want validation. Yeah. But yes, please do all that stuff that I just said because I don't want to say it again. And tell your friends, pass it along. We will be seeing you next week on, what's this called again? Oh, that's right. Unlimited Runtime. The only podcast brave enough ask to ask. I already ruined this outro. Serious questions like, why do you hate the flea guys so much in Castlevania? Oh, come on. Come on. Do you even want to start with this?